Mama's Comedy Show, and with me is Cousin Melanie. Hello! And it's Cousin Andrew. Hi! And Cousin Ali. Hi! Uh, Who's who? <laughs> in the podcast world, they'll never know which one of you is actually Asian. <laughs> Everyone here, that'll be our ancient Chinese secret. Well, even when I speak, my, that is my, my, my words are slanted. So. <laughs> All right. Wow. Have you, do you... <laughs> <laughs> Who remembers those commercials, uh, the ancient Chinese secret commercials? Calgon. It wasn't Calgon. No. I thought it was Calgon. No. Yeah, was it was Calgon. Cal- no, I thought Chinese- it was a yeah. laundry. Yeah, a- Calgon. No, that's, I remember that's, that one. <laughs> that's another Asian commercial. Oh. Was it, I that's thought the it, only one that I know. Was it Calgon that did laundry? No, Calgon was. No, meow, meow Mix Calgon, was an Asian take commercial. me away. That was that meow, one. Meow, 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 meow. Palm Olive was the hand, dip your yeah. fingers in it. You're soaking in it. Yeah. Oh, wait. This. I, it was a laundry detergent. It was. Because um, it was a guy taking. Mr. Sparkle. It, no, what, That's what, Simpsons. What, what are we talking oh. about? That's totally Simpsons. Somebody, somebody look that up for us. You know what? I got you. So, anyway, uh, how you guys doing? Doing pretty good, man. I'm, I'm great. I have no idea what we were just talking about, but besides that, I'm great. So, it, there was a commercial. Yeah. And in the commercial, the guy was taking his clothes to a laundromat, which. This was Calgon. in the. Calgon? Yeah. See, I got it right. It was Cal, like C O W gone, G O N E? Calgon. Calgon. Take me away. But it, a guy was going to pick up his clothes at the laundry, and because this was the 1980s, it was an Asian woman who ran the laundromat. And he said, How do you get the spots out? And she'd go, Ancient Chinese secret. And then he would see the box and go, Ancient Chinese secret, huh? I am watching this right now, and, and then I'm they would so laugh. Offended. Are you related to, to her? Do you know wife. her? <laughs> I, I actually. Any, she, she, the white woman looks at it, and and she like turns to them slowly, goes, "Ancient Chinese secret, huh?" <laughs> oh like, yeah, bitch! You just got some good ass clothes. Get the fuck out of here. Do you, do you remember this? Speaking of racist things from the eighties. All right. Uh, me Chinese, me play joke, me, me put, put pee pee, pee in, in your, your coke. coke. Yeah. yeah. Do you know the other part? I don't think no. I was... American. Me so smart. Me not drink the pee pee part. <laughs> I don't think I was born for any of the things that we're speaking about. Wow, so, far. so so it's must, must be because you're older than me because I only know the first part. Yeah, well, no, no, I just I, I think uh, I actually. Oh my god, I remember this. I went to a baseball game with my brother, and yeah. it was like local baseball. You know, like the field in your neighbor in your neighborhood yeah. that people yeah. go to, like little league. That they, yeah, you know, the, and if the if yeah. there's a pop fly, if you bring the ball back, you get a soda from the concession stand. And oh, something like that. Anyway. How I had old a, are you all? I had a yeah, bottle real. of Coke, and I went to the bathroom. A whole bottle? And I peed in the bottle. I was like, mind you, like seven years old. And then I <laughs> went back and handed it to my brother. <laughs> and, and Todd, was this yesterday? <laughs> no. He, and he guzzled that he his did Coke? Not, he did not guzzle it. Because the oh minute he put it to his, his mouth, I started laughing. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he went, what did you do? And I said, Ancient Chinese secret. <laughs> what oh, what oh, other wait. crazy thing? Because I did some, I, like, my older brother did some fucked up shit to me, like, practical joke-wise. Yeah. And, and, and don't get me wrong. Now that I'm older, I realize I was dumb. Like, I was so stupid. I fell for it every time. Ali, I bet you can't get me a bowl of cereal in 20 seconds. The fuck I can. I will go get it right now. And I'd run to the kitchen, start making the cereal, and then my brother would be in there. And it was way past 30 seconds. And he'd go, 10. Oh, no. <laughs> Nine. You better bring the, the, the special bowl. Oh, oh, Ali. The special wow. bowl? Yeah, it was the weed. Uh, Ali, I bet you can't suck this yogurt out of this tube with your eyes closed. <laughs> <laughs> I How bet I can. How much well, time? If you do it right, it won't take long. Oh, man. <laughs> Why does oh, it taste like bleach? I, I, my sister, uh, when I, when I'd act up, which was all the time, I, I, my sister would threaten me with taking me to this guy named Stano. What? He, he was a murderer, like in our area. Like we had some like woods. A real one? Yeah, like a real one. He would. Mur- he, I didn't know this as a kid, but as a kid, I just knew about the guy named Stano, and he would murder women in the woods. Right. And so, like, I'd be like, so she offered you up as well. She, she, she'd be like, <laughs> she would take me. She'd be like, I, I shake. If you don't, if you don't stop, I'm gonna take you to Stano. I'm like, no, you're not. And I tested her, and she picks me up over her shoulder, and we start walking down the driveway. I'm like, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, don't do it. He wouldn't have murdered me. I'm not. You a know woman. what? I think is interesting is that you had Stano. 
Uh, I feel like every neighborhood had that urban legend of someone that was a killer that was somewhere. Where I grew up, and I'm not yeah. making this up, we called him Pregnant Pete. Pregnant <laughs> Pete? Because the, that sounds better than Stano. But the urban legend was, was that this guy Pete had like a big old fat belly. Oh, man. And they called him Pregnant Pete. But he was also so big, he would just rape anything. Like if a stray oh, cat oh walked by, he's like, I'm going to fuck it. Uh, but it was, <laughs> so it was like, don't go in the woods because Pregnant Pete's in there just waiting. Did you oh. all not have any of this and just people didn't want you in the woods? Okay. Was this all wow. alive? I was just walking out of the woods. I was walking through the woods just waiting, going, why? Why, why isn't anyone, anyone coming yeah. after me? So is anybody else wondering, like, I'm sitting here going, Stano, does it seem like it's the great value version of Thano? Like Thanos, so you're going to Stanos? Stanos is an, Stano is an awful murder name. Yeah. He was, he was an, an awful, awful murderer. awful murder name. Uh, did you guys have an equivalent of that? A murderer? Yeah, in your neighborhood or in yeah, your we town. had real killers. Uh, I don't. I, we didn't have a murderer. Uh, no. We had the ice cream man who was a legitimate. That wasn't a murder name. His he was the ice cream man. <laughs> the ice cream man. Um, and he would drive around and sell both drugs and ice cream out of his truck. Right. Uh, what up, big and pearl? So everyone was always really worried about him in the neighborhood until finally someone arrested him. Ah. I thought he was the nicest human because he used to just hand out free ice cream. Oh, yeah. Oh, and my oh, parents God. were not concerned about it. So anytime no. he drove by, he would just sit out front of the house and play his music and wait. What if, what if you were the... wait until I went out and then I would get free ice cream. And when I was young, I thought that was the best. What if you were the reason why he didn't, like, kill that day? Because there was Melanie. They're getting, getting the ice cream. You know what? Today's not the day. But then the one day you weren't there, he's like, oh, no ice cream? Well, time to kill a bitch. I got a question for you. Remember back in your in your recesses in the back of your brain when you were younger and the and the uh, the ice cream truck showed up. What was your ice cream? What was your go to ice cream? Like oh. me, mine because I would only get it there was the strawberry shortcake ice cream. All right, yeah, with the like the yes. crumbles on the Ooh. outside. I have the chocolate eclair version of that. Yes, that's oh. it. I Mississippi mud. What I, is that? I got the um the the. Um, oh. The red, white, and blue pop. Yes, the you bomb would. pops. I knew. And it's then the I would just pops. somebody would. And then I would just walk through the woods, going, Pete, <laughs> <laughs> Pete, come get me. With a pe- ice cream and a pack of pregnancy tests. <laughs> I I remember my brother got the snow cone. Yeah. And what a weirdo. Yeah. Well, it was ice cream truck. Yeah. It, and it was like you know, like the top was sealed, and you pulled it off. But uh, one of the kids in our neighborhood did this thing where he squeezed the cone. And like the frozen slush like shot up and then he caught it. And it was like the coolest thing I'd ever seen. And my brother my brother went <laughs> squeeze and it just went out lopsided, <laughs> smashed on the ground, and then he started crying. And I had my my uh, rocket pop and I was like, Oh, it sucks for you be you. <laughs> What's funny my about ice cream man, he would have just given the children more free ice cream. <laughs> I wish I had a rocket pop. Only had my mom. What? Go to your room. <laughs> All right, so something that we do on, on the podcast is we're going to get initials from someone in the Ooh. audience for a segment that we don't know what that segment's going to be. And I see you're staring. So what are your initials? PMM? So we'll just P-M-M. do PM. 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 Uh, so we have to create a segment for the podcast using your initials PM. Hmm. Melanie. Yes. What is your PM story mm-hmm. or segment? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to call it Please Money. <laughs> Please Money. Okay, yep. Andrew, what is your PM? My, I'm going to go there. Mine's going to be Politics Matter. Oh, Boo. oh God. <laughs> yes. Boo. Uh, Ali? Probably Melanie. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pick that. I'm scared. <laughs> uh, and, and mine will be uh, Post Mortem. Okay. All right. Hooray. So, Melanie... Uh, step forward and explain what your segment is. Please, money. Um, it made me think about it because we were talking about our childhood traumas. Um, the times in school or something like that where you were forced to sell something that you didn't want to, whether yes. it was like cookies or your magazine body. subscriptions or your body, whatever Ooh. it might have been, uh, that experience and what it was for you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Andrew, <clears throat> the same step forward? Uh, yes. Politics matter. Uh-huh. Mine is going to be about the, the politics of 
being in school uh-huh. and uh, having to negotiate and uh, uh, go through the politics of school to okay, maintain. You can, you can step back. <laughs> he doesn't know. He doesn't know your what it's about. Your social standing. And Ali. Uh, so we're going to talk about things that, like, you would never do sober. Like some outrageous things, and at the end of it, we just go, who would do that? Who would do that? Probably Melanie. Ooh. Oh, so that wasn't nearly as... No, that wasn't as dark man, and terrifying as I Ollie, thought it was that was, your, that was your chance. We could have had a, a real yeah. good time with Melanie. Yeah. <laughs> we still can. Nope, too late. Um, it's done. Postmortem is kind of about the, um, the things you want to do before you die. Okay. So Ooh. it's kind of like a... Uh, Melanie. Uh, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So it's, it's, I'm sorry. it's probably <laughs> it's pre mortem necessarily, uh, but maybe. Sorry, sorry. So yeah, this is uh, something. Basically, we're going to tell stories of a dream that we have that we want to achieve before we die that uh, we haven't done so, already. Right, right, that we have Ooh. not done already. Mm-hmm. So okay. now, what's going to happen is you, the audience, will scream and cheer for the segment you want to hear. Uh, we'll start off with Melanie and please, please money, money, scream and cheer if that's what you want. Surprisingly, a lot All of right. people. Yeah. Not bad. All right, now Andrew, <laughs> politics matter. <laughs> Boo. Thanks, thanks, buddy. Boo. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, thank you, thank you. Boo. Ali, thank you. probably Melanie. That was Melanie. All right, and post mortem. <laughs> All right, Melanie. Why did that win? Yes, I, I don't yeah. know. I think because everyone thought that the other one was going to be we were going to talk about fucking you. Uh, <laughs> so. <laughs> That's, that'll be the new topic. That's the new thing. What, how would we all fuck Melanie? <laughs> Everyone cheer for that? No, no, no. <laughs> all right. uh, She's walking through the woods with a fudgicle. <laughs> and, all right. What if I'm the murderer in the woods? What if I was pregnant, Pete? So you explain to uh, people. Please, money. So those stories that are connected to the things that we were forced to sell most likely in our childhood. Yes. Things like if you were in the Girl Scouts or the Boy Scouts, you might have had to sell cookies. I don't know if the Boy Scouts sold cookies, whatever they sold. Um, Hand there jobs. was often magazine drives. There were, you had to sell like wrapping paper, things like that. Okay. Yeah? Me first? Uh, sure. Okay, so when I was in middle school, it started out as you had to sell magazines, but then it just became a magazine full of everything miscellaneous. So anything from wrapping paper to ornaments to boxed nuts, to that's right, um, <laughs> yeah. to more magazines to books. Like anything you could imagine was in there, and clearly no one wanted to sell these or buy them. Um, however, in my school, there were three prizes that I found very enticing. Okay. Right? One, if you sold a certain number of things, you would receive a stuffed chicken <laughs> that had... Uh, Velcro on its butt. And if you opened that Velcro, <laughs> there was an egg. And if you opened that egg, there was a mystery prize. Ooh. <laughs> and that really, like... That, I was like, what is this chicken egg mystery prize? All right. Wow. Really sold on that yeah. one. Did you did you get it? Yes. And what I got, w- like, six of them because that <laughs> was motivation. What, what, were, what were in there? Absolutely nothing. Oh, <laughs> they got you, dude. They got me real Good. You got, got, got Oh, man. Uh, the other thing you could win was a limousine ride. With the to, principal. To, 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 <laughs> uh, mm, weird. We're not talking about politics right now. Oh, sorry. Uh, a limousine ride to CeCe's Pizza. Oh. <laughs> where you got to miss oh, no. some of class to Whoa. go to CeCe's Whoa. Pizza. I also won that because I was motivated. Uh, a friend of mine won limousine rides uh, through a Doritos contest. Ooh. What? Like there was a Doritos contest where you get like an, a certain number of hours in a limousine. Oh, that's cool. So Just I remember. Y- well, no, they'll drive you places. So I remember like he would he picked us up at home <laughs> in my house and we went to school. Oh, uh, <laughs> Just got was, out. Was there like just plain Doritos in there? No. There was no Doritos at all? No, he won them by eating Doritos. You don't get more Doritos? No. In the limousine? I, that'd be what? cool. You're like, ooh, cool ranch. Was it like you open the bag like, and inside it said, you win, limo Yeah, there was time. something. It was like a contest that was inside the... Hold on. How much money did you grow up with that a limo was not exciting enough for you? Like, as a kid, you're like, oh, fuck the limo. Do I get more Doritos? Like, oh, I, I would have been free. Like, a limousine? Like, I still... I've only been in a limousine once. And I that, that was my Caesar's wedding pizza. day. And I'll I never get into Caesar's. that fucking thing again. How, how many times have you been in a police car? Uh, we don't need to talk about that. We don't. We don't need to talk about that part. 
<laughs> that, that, a police car. What if the police car was a, like a limo? Then you'd feel a little bit classy. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Do you know how many people they could fit in the back of one of those? Yeah. That's a good point. And, uh, and Andrew's getting arrested. He's like, no Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> Roll down the window. <laughs> hey, man. Uh, how long to the jail? <laughs> uh, Can you turn out the AC a bit? <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, do you have a uh, a story of selling something uh, as a child? <laughs> <laughs> um, me me selling something. Okay, okay. Uh, so I had this idea. Uh, anyone ever collected their farts as an experiment? Someone said, "Yeah." You got one. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I had this experiment, and I was like, "You know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to spend a month. <laughs> I'm going to collect farts in a jar." Right. And uh, Although I, the problem is, the minute you open the jar to fart into it again, your your farts well, escape. Well, yeah, what was your system? <laughs> well, I did it. Well, I would go up to it, open it up, and, poof, and I'm like, you know, what? I'm gonna I'm gonna save it, and then eventually I'm gonna sell this. And like, I got into like week three, and my sister says, nobody's gonna buy that. And I'm like, you never know. I mean, it could be a thing. And she says, well, have you even smelt it? I'm like, no, I haven't even done that. And they're like, oh, well, you should do it. And I and I opened it up, <laughs> I took it with, and I I was like. I was like, no, huh? I like gagged. It was like the most like reaction. I'm like, I just threw it away and I, no sales. Did you no throw sales. it away open so more smell <laughs> came out or did you reseal it before you I threw it away? I did reseal it. I did reseal it. So hundred years from now in a landfill, <laughs> some archaeologist is going to be digging through. Or, I just want, I want someone who's digging through the trash to like be like, oh, cool, a Freemason jar. What's, what's crazy about that story is that was a week ago. <laughs> you didn't label it? It's, it's an unlabeled mason jar? You didn't put like Asian farts? Uh, I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's probably why I'm squinting mason. right now because I probably gave myself pink eye and I didn't even know right, it. Right. Wow. That's right. Uh, Ali? Uh, I yeah. remember I made myself sick. Uh, no, hold on. Sorry. Just hold go on. back. I like the idea that like, you know, the trash, the trash uh, <laughs> pile that's in the ocean, the island of trash that's just yeah. floating. Yes. I like to think that it floated up somewhere in uh, China and they in Wuhan, <laughs> they opened the, j- <laughs> the jar. I'm it. I'm you're, the, I'm the, I'm you're patient zero. <laughs> you're fucking COVID, dude. Don't That's you. Know you. Why. you want to do it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no, she wow. Wow. What, did, what, what does did that he mean? Just say? I don't know. Only he knows. <laughs> oh, Ancient yeah. Chinese secret. Ancient huh? Chinese secret, huh? Ali. Uh, when I was in high school, I made myself sick because I was in the band. That's right. Sexy as fuck. Uh, I was a, I was a percussionist, and we had to do fundraisers, and we sold beef jerky. Oh. Now, it Ooh. would be cool if it were real beef, but you know damn well it was this pressed, just beef-flavored thing, but I fucking loved them, and it was only a dollar, and I should have known not to eat my own product because I grew up in Immokalee. My dad was a drug dealer. My uncle was a, like it's a family business. I should have known not to eat my own product, but I did anyway. I kept eating them and eating them. And they came in one of those tins, yeah. you know, and you would pop them open. You could just see them. I threw up so much. I, like, killed an entire tin one night. Ooh. Did you pay for them? No. Okay. No. He stole. I, didn't, I mean, Mom did. Mom had to. I didn't have any work. I didn't have any job. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, all right, my bad. Yeah. Uh, anytime no. they would do that stuff, like uh, for my like my uh, drama or our thespian troupe, uh, I would always just because it was like thirty dollars for the box. I would always just buy the box, <laughs> knowing that I'm going to eat everything <laughs> in it. And it was always they were like, "What do you want to sell?" And I was like, "Ah, Skittles," because I know that's what I'm going to eat yep. like yeah. nonstop. Compared to what? I mean, they had like milk duds or whoppers. Okay. You know those kids that that would always sell those boxes of candy. I, I would look at them and like, this doesn't feel right. This is gross. I don't want your candy. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want whatever you're selling. I'd go. I'd be like, buy, buy my chocolate. I'm like, nah. I'm just gonna go up to like where you normally buy candy from the vending machine. <laughs> yeah, crush their dreams. Yeah, whatever yeah. Whatever trip I they just, wanted to go on. I just I imagine. Like, I just imagine that candy just sitting in their like do you, room or something. Do you go to a mom and pop restaurant and bring in McDonald's? You <laughs> fuck. <laughs> you know. Yes. Sounds, uh, sounds like a good time. Destroying when, small businesses. When, when I'm leaving Publix and the Girl Scouts are there, I like stand there for a long time, <laughs> and oh, and I no. go, I go, uh, yeah, I want one of those, and I want one of those, and I I want one of those, and they're like, great. I go, do you want to take that out to my car for me? No, no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No. I don't. <laughs> you, no. Wow. You are the wow, dude. Oh, <laughs> pregnant Pete lives in time. <laughs> 
Todd, I thought you were going to go, I want one of those, yeah, I want okay. one of those, and I want one of those. Okay, so you want these cookies? No. Sure, you can throw those in, too. I'm like, <laughs> oh, my God. No, so I, it out, kids. Okay, ew. My, I do have a story of selling things as a kid, but this is actually, um, this will tell you a little bit about me as a, as a human being. Like we don't know enough. Um, well, this is something you might not know. Uh, my, my dad, uh, he was a stockbroker in the 80s. And you guys know what the PGA is? Yep. It, in like I grew up in Jack's Beach, and there's a big golfing tournament that would happen. People golfing a lot. It is a lot of people golfing, and the <laughs> the uh, brokerage firm that he worked for was a major sponsor of the PGA for one year. Yeah. And so he had to be there, and my brother. It was his his weekend with my brother and I, and again, this is the '80s, so it was a totally different time because I was probably six years old. My brother was ten. And my dad gave us each 20 bucks and was like, all right, I'm going to be in here. You guys roam the golf course. Wow. Like, so, you know, I'm, I'm like you know, a six-year-old walking around wow. the golf course with $20. I'm like a, a millionaire in six-year-old terms. Yeah, yeah. And uh, after a few hours. What is there to just buy? Is there just things on a golf course? Just stands? Well, it's, it's a major, like, televised event, okay. but there are, like, vendors and stuff everywhere. You can buy tons of shit, like okay. burgers, fries, whatever. Okay. Um, anyway, my brother comes back to my dad after two hours and says, hey, I need money for lunch. And my dad says, well, what did you do with the money I gave you? And he's like, well, I bought, I bought stuff. <laughs> so my dad's like, well, great. He gave my brother another 20 bucks. <laughs> and then I come wandering up to the booth that my dad's in, and my dad says, did you eat lunch? And I go, yeah. <laughs> he says, do you need money? And I said, no. And he said, how much money do you have left? And I said, $32. <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> you, took, you took your brother's No, I didn't take my brother's money. Were you betting at six years old? <laughs> I know what you did. What? I know what you I, did. What I did is... Did you sell your own self? When, when people are lined up at a, uh -oh. at a green, like, to watch, they don't want to leave that spot. So they would want a beer, and they would say, hey, kid... Go get me oh my God. a beer, and I would charge him a buck to do it. And when the you, the, the first person saw me do it again in the eighties, genius in the eighties, a six year old kid could walk oh, up yeah. to a beer vendor and be like, "I want a beer," and they're gonna go, "Here you go." <laughs> so no, and it would be like this: "Who's it for?" And then you you just point at random adult. Oh, my yeah. dad over there. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. You need an extra wow. one. You don't want him to get up. Go Could ahead. You, did you pee in any of them? No, I didn't. I, as they're drinking it, I just start laughing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the, the minute the first person, I was took the beer back to the first person and he gave me a dollar, like five other people were like, I want a beer. And so, yeah, I just kept doing that. That's I, wow. amazing. I had a little business. Nice. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's Thank really you. smart. And, and then, uh, so just this is like the asshole side of that, uh, is uh, my mom went out of town for a night left my brother and me. So my brother was wildly irresponsible. He th wanted to throw a party. He threw a party. At 10 years old? No, no. This was like... <laughs> th this, my brother was probably Come 16. Come guys. Let's go. <laughs> so I was, I was 12. My brother was 16. Okay, he threw a party. Sense. All of his friends start coming over. And I was like, you know, mom's going to really hate that you did this. Tell you what. I'll take cover charge for everyone that walks <laughs> in. And I charged cover for people oh to come into the party. Oh, my God. You wow. maniacal bastard. Yeah. See, yeah. my brother, when I was in middle school, he did the fundraiser in high school as well. Um, but he made so much money. Uh, he was selling, and I found it in his closet. It was um, weed. Oh. <laughs> he had an entire tree in his fucking closet. Yeah. A tree of weed. And this is how dumb my brother is. He's like, Mom will never know. You could smell it from the street. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is that? And wow. I shared the room with him. So I'm fucking stoned. That's why I'm only 5'6". I should be 6'2". <laughs> weed stunts your growth. Oh. Well, but did he get a stuffed chicken with a prize egg shoved up its head? You know, th there was one time I got money from an old lady, and it was I was in a little tuxedo, and I think oh I was God. like... This is how it starts. Yep. This is it. And, this and is I the said, grooming. Please, please, lady, please take me back to my mom. No, um, uh, I was in a, a tuxedo, and I was just dancing on the stage 
to Michael what? Jackson. And oh I was my just, god! And I was, I was just like, it was just a stage because there was like a band playing, but they had like music playing in between. It was like Michael Jackson. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. This old lady came up and she like puts a like a dollar in my pocket, and I just kept dancing, thinking oh. people would give me more money. She put it in your pants. She she put it like really in. She grabbed, and I and I thought more money was happening. My, more money did not happen. <laughs> I remember seeing you perform. <laughs> it was under the name Ancient Chinese Secret. Ancient you were great. Chinese Secret. You were phenomenal. Yeah, AC, a- ACS. That's what they call oh. me. All right. Well, I, I believe that's the end of our segment. And we didn't do an intro, Andrew. Oh, Jesus. But you Good. should do an outro for the... Oh, okay, okay. Uh, if you're a child and you want to make money, call Todd. Todd. All right. Now the 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 last thing we Are do. Are you looking up your number to give it to these children? No, uh, the last thing we do. I'm looking up the this week's would you rather question. Oh god! Oh, oh Here boy. we go. Would you rather? Bum bum um, bum bum. Uh, so I think this one is pretty good, but I I want you to explain your answer and okay. really think about it. Okay. Show your work. All right. Would you rather? Would you rather? Have your farts be super loud and smell like nothing at all, oh. or be silent but smell terrible. Ah, uh, I'll take that one. Uh, I'd rather them be super loud and not smell, because you know what? Most of my audience, when I do stand up, are juvenile as fuck. I would turn it into a business. I would, I would, I would do kegels just so I can make different notes and like be awesome. <laughs> Be badass. Ah. Just right, gotta Andrew. take a muscle relaxer, get that bass. Uh, you know, um, yeah, you know what? I, I, I think I would like. Can the decibels be like, like, just like, ple- like, like, like deafening? It's just like the loudest fart you can imagine. That would hurt. Would that, that would probably that's hurt? Like breaking right? the sound barrier. Loud. No, it's not about pain. It's just yeah. sound. How it's ju- loud it's just can you sound? fart, Melanie? That you're you said the one, most one you could imagine. I mean, have you, have, you, have you ever sneeze farted before? That shit hurts, <laughs> and it's loud. Like, you're like, and you're like, ah, ha, ha. Um, I, I, you know what? You know you what? Snarted? <laughs> yeah, I've done so many of those. Uh, th- pain those are scary. Concerns me. <laughs> well, okay. I mean, you were forced to fart out like that with the pressure. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Uh, you, never, if, if never if force a, fight, a fart. <laughs> if you were in a fight and like the bully punched you and you farted, do you think he would continue to punch, or do you think like that would diffuse the situation with everyone laughing at you? You're like, ah, ha, ha, ha. I just start punching you again some more. <laughs> it it diffuses the situation. Uh, you know what? I'll say I'll say um, I'll say the 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 slow burner. I'll say the slow burner uh, because. You mean if, the quiet if, one that smells? Yeah, because you could just do it. Oh my god, I swore I smelled a fart just now. Think about it. Um, you could just do it and just like walk away, but like the whole room would get pissed off. But like, who who did it? That's if you can walk away. What? You may Why be do on a... all of your farts hurt so much? No, I'm. Sa- I don't mean it. I don't. What's mean you... happening to you all? If you can walk away, you could be in a are car. Are you crippled after the fart? <laughs> you could be in a car where um, you can't just walk away after okay. your fart. I would just look at Melanie and be like, you, "No, this is what you do. You have You're to not react." Going in your car, you Andrew. have you have to react first. Be like, "Ew, who farted?" Bam. You, but here's the thing. <laughs> this is why you don't do the silent but deadly, and it's awful because you're gonna be asleep. And that's going to creep out. Oh. And now you're going to be gagging and, and everything. Fuck that. But if you do the loud one and you're asleep, you're just going to wake everyone up. That's fine. I don't give a shit. I'll go right back to bed. Oh, man. I do a lot of weed at night to sleep. The I'm wor- fine. The worst thing ever is hold- right. holding your holding your ass in when you're, like, first dating somebody. It's so... God. I've, I've told this story on the podcast. Yeah. When I was dating this girl, it was our first time being intimate. The first time. Intimate. I, I intimate. know I've told this story Give to you guys. I, I, don't, I don't think I've ever heard you say the first time being intimate. All right, first time we were fucking. Uh, <laughs> no, but, but as I was making my first thrust, <laughs> <laughs> I, I went. For those of you at uh, home listening to this, Todd put his hands open I know. and went face but, in and so, was like, ah. So, so what I did, <laughs> here, let me demonstrate. Melanie, lay down. <laughs> oh my God. Don't I do it, Melanie. I collect that topic. No. I did my first thrust and went, <laughs> and then, and then to try to cover it, I said, "I'm just giving you the extra juice." Oh my <laughs> god! Like it was boosters. So, like, was like 
Oh, man. A buddy of mine, I'm not going to mention his name, but he used to tell this story. I was in a band with him at one point, and we got drunk and high and anything else that was probably an illegal substance. We did it, and we're telling stories, and he goes, all right. If 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 ever we're on stage and she shows up, I will apologize. And I go, uh oh, what well, what well, happened? He goes, well, when I first started working at Universal Studios, I met someone and we started flirting, and she comes to the house and we ended up getting drunk and hammered, and she starts to um, thrust with her mouth on his penis. Okay. Uh, so she's giving him head. Melanie, can you demonstrate and real quick? He had, he had some some uh, questionable meat earlier on in the day. Oh, and no. so the way he tells the story, he's like, so I'm all into it. I'm loving it. This girl is a, a champ. She's amazing. And it's then like all of a sudden, my stomach goes, oh, la, 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 la. And I'm like, uh-oh. No. Stay in it. Stay in it. Stay the Stay course. focused. Stay the You're course. You're going to do this. And it got to the point, he said it was feeling so great, but his, the pressure was too much. It was hurting him so much that it came out. And it came out, and he goes, Ali, it was the most disgusting smelling uh, or I've ever heard like or smelled ever. It was hot. God, like, it no. was nasty. No. And he goes, oh, my God. But she kept going. She just kept going. Ooh, I go, you marry her. You marry her now. I was like, that is a keeper. <laughs> So, speaking of, Melanie, what is... What? Melanie, when did you work at Universal? What is your answer to the fart question? Oh, easy, loud. You would want easy, loud? Yeah, loud is the obvious answer. I'm easy, like, easy, loud, fart. You walk away and try to blame someone else. It lingers. I'm sorry. It stays on you. It does. I can't imagine Melanie farting. I can't. I don't, ever. (laughs) Women women don't fart. I would still pick loud because that stuff lingers. Small particles attached to clothing. Yeah, it's coming with you. Can you imagine if you're constantly farting and it's that nasty? It would be like a like smoker's clothes, uh, where you smell it even though you didn't smoke today. It, it's like that. You can still fucking smell it. You go to the next building and no, you walk in and they're like, "What smells like a fart?" And it's just you. It'd be like that kid from Peanuts with the cloud around him all the time. <laughs> Pig pen. Uh, yes. But but what about you? What about you? Wait. On that, well, oh. Melanie, uh, women don't fart. Never. Oh. They don't. They just get backed up and they bitch. That's how it is released. Oh my god! Into the <laughs> the I mean, women audience you. are so on board uh, for no, this. That basically means is Todd's never had anyone as committed as that woman was <laughs> that Ali just talked about. That's what we're so doing. no. Oh what my, my my answer is I think um I think I would rather loud and and not smelly. Mm-hmm. And you're gonna you may say bullshit on this right now, but my farts really don't smell. Even my poops. Don't really smell that bad. I'm listen. I, I'm you doing walk? it right now. Ah, oh, <laughs> no. But but I I feel like just stand over the toilet. No. And just pop it up to see. I, no, but I mean just. I lived with him for a few years. In our in our line of work, a a silent fart may be better uh, for the audience point of view, but if it's gonna smell like roadkill, like I feel like there's an. Ancient Chinese proverb for farting. Yes. The way you sound. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, I just think, I think I would rather the loud and not because I could always like cough or sneeze to try to cover up the sound, but you can't cover up the smell. A silent you think fart. You're covering up the no. sound. <laughs> yes. No, but see the sound. People love fart boxes, little fart noise machines. You're a personal fart noise machine. Ooh, right, ever, noise machines don't that? smell. Do let's let's someone? do a little demonstration. Andrew, you're going to give me the fart sound, okay? For I'm sure. going to I'll say one line yeah, yeah. as a parent uh, and then you give me the sound. Okay. Uh, here, hold my baby. <laughs> okay, never mind. I'll take that back. <laughs> well, that's that's a win right there. Where Coming. if if you are just, just make a silent mm-hmm. fart it, maybe I'm going silent now, but if you make a silent fart when they hand you the baby, you can go, oh, take this. I'm let's, changing my answer. Let's try it again. I'm going what silent fart, nasty, as long as I have a baby with me at all times. <laughs> oh. So Ali, all I have to do is go. Ali, you have strapped to your body. You oh, have God. billions. Why is it green and you purple? Have, you have billions, you have of, billions babies. of babies with you right now. <laughs> We could do a flow chart of how many babies like you have. The hell did this kid eat? That's true. <laughs> All right, so we do need to wrap it up. So uh, we need to go over what we learned. Yeah, Melanie, <laughs> what did you learn tonight? 
Um, I learned that we should never, ever, ever have another category with an M in it because I can only escape a category about me for so long. <laughs> Andrew, what did you learn tonight? I learned that the audience didn't appreciate the value of a fart jar. <laughs> Ali, what did you learn tonight? I learned that Todd was a low-key drug dealer when he was a kid. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's so badass. <laughs> um, and I learned something tonight, too. Yeah. What's that? But I'm not going to tell you. All right. Because it's an ancient Chinese oh, secret. We're Mama's Comedy Show. We're here every Friday night at 9 p.m. Go to mamascomedyshow.com for um, tickets. Melanie, where can people find you? Uh, secret places. I don't have social media. Just come back to the show. Right, yeah. And then follow her home from here. Yeah. Andrew. Uh, for those of you uh, who have Amazon Prime, uh, I am on twitch.tv, Omnigun, O-M-N-I-G-U-N-N. -N -N. Follow me. You could give me your subscription for free. Doesn't cost you anything. I get like three bucks, and you just plop it in there. Subscribe to me on the Twitch. Don't. I'm just worried that you're going to spend it on drugs. Ali, uh, uh, you can find me on all the social medias. A Ali Flores Comedy. Uh, also, if I don't know if we have listeners in South Florida, but I'll be headlining a show at the Edison uh, in Fort Myers on April 6th. That's coming up this Saturday. Mm. Uh, so come check me out. I'll be there. Oh, and April 7th. It's actually the four of us. Yes. Sunday, ah. April 7th, all four of us are doing a show, Mama show in Eustis Woo! at the uh, Plaza Theater in Eustis. It's actually a pretty big venue. Yeah. You guys can get tickets for it if you want to join us out there. But if you live in Eustis, uh, put your... Eustis. Put I your, don't live there now, but I used to. Put oh, your... Eustis. Uh, did it. Put your loofah on the door handle because we're they're very close to the villages. Oh. So, the, the lo you know the loofah thing? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll explain it to you after the podcast. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.